isolation has ended but he's not 100% yet so University of Maryland huge campus i heard that people have to take taxi to go from one class to another that is the target there we are going to playa bowls they have nice breakfast bowls and i got a coupon from them to get like buy one get one free so thought of going there it's so empty sunday morning Oh, there's a pot belly. Got a sandwich. There's a Dunkin' Donuts there. Just there. Okay. Other than the this flyables here or the one on that side? Are they different? I don't know. It's confusing. We went to that one the other day. There's a cold stone there on the other side. This one's closed. Oh, maybe they moved to the other side. Our new location. Yeah, so they changed it to the one we went the other day then. That's where the Maryland campus starts, I guess. Hotel. Oh no, I guess it's apartment. So I was in this flyables and there are many other stores here. This place is a lot like Main Street. There's Q Japan Hibachi Grill, Japanese ramen. I guess it's like Kumamoto. Must try it someday. This place is cool. are broader than our Newark roads which is nice I like Newark though so I got my favorite flyer bowl it's a green bowl today it's a kale bowl so there's kale inside topped with mango pineapple coconuts and banana love it really really good Hi, so I'm ready for a recording for my conference. This conference was supposed to be in South Korea and Seoul, uh, but due to COVID, they uh, made it online. So I'm ready in my formals to record over Zoom and uh, like record the speech, also with my face in the video, and also it's 
screen sharing on Zoom where I can show my PowerPoint presentation. And yeah, I'm ready. I've done a lot of practices with my advisor and our lab group in my university. And yeah, my advisor said I'm ready. I made certain changes from the initial uh, presentation that I had made based on their feedback and now it's ready to be recorded. And But I recorded it twice and I still found some mistakes. I, I keep editing the thing and re-recording. It's not too long. It's, it's a short speech. So it, it's not too difficult to edit in between. And yeah, I hope, I, I mean, I can't share the talk on YouTube, but I wish I could. <laughs> anyway, see ya. We're going to Little together for the first time. This is Anupam's first time to Little. I've been to Little. He yeah. has it. Let's see. I'm kind of waiting on the bus. You're waiting for the bus. It's raining yeah. quite a lot. We're thinking of selling clothes at Uptown Tuesday. We got some Dunkin' Donuts today. So, it's been a while that I'm continuing this vlog. I think I started this day before yesterday and then I went on to yesterday and then I'm here today. I'm going to end it today for sure or otherwise it's just gonna go over and over like for I don't know how many days. I think yeah I, just, I started this on Monday and today is Thursday already. <laughs> it's I mean at some point I have to end it right. So yeah I had a really nice conference presentation yesterday and um I, I hope I'll get good feedback. I mean, this is an on it, this was an online conference. So what happens is like we were asked to upload our recorded uh, talks on um, a platform, and over there uh, the the last day of uploading is actually today. So I did it a day in advance just in case if there are any issues or something so I can fix it. But uh, it, the deadline is actually today and let me go back a little bit and uh, then the actual conference is actually on 23rd uh, of this month so that day is people who will who are coming to the conference they would have seen my presentation by then so from 8th to 23rd is the time when they have to see the conference like even for me if i want to see anybody else's talk or poster presentation or oral presentation or special discussion sessions, panel sessions, I have to see them now, uh, from now to un until June th 23rd. And then if I have any questions, I can post uh, my questions as comments on their talks or I, ha I can go on to their online session on that day when we'll only have the discussion. So I, at my session, my session is uh, starting from 7.45 a.m. So I'll be online on that platform and people who come, they can ask me questions and I'm going to answer them. We can have a discussion and stuff like that. So it's like, it's a different format from a regular conference, but I'm sure a lot of you know this. If you are in academia and you go to conferences, you're pro probably doing this for the last two years now. And some other conferences also have different formats. Like uh, this same conference happened two years ago. So this one is called Lab Fawn Laboratory Phonology. Uh, this one is lab phone 18 this year's one last year's was lab phone 17 and so not last year 2020 so lab this is a moving international conference so um they they go to different countries and host the conference the organizers do all the work and last to last year like the last uh, lab phone was in british columbia in uh, canada in van it was supposed to be in vancouver and i i was accepted in that too so i did a presentation but not in canada they made it online that year as well and that year's format was something somewhat similar but it was not through the platform it was just a regular zoom uh, presentation and yeah so la i was very excited in 2020 to go to canada to go to british columbia and uh, see the place also and this year's one was supposed to happen in south korea in seoul but they again made it online which is actually a good thing i mean they made it online for covid and i got covid like two weeks ago 
so I, it would have been difficult for me to travel as well i mean even though i'm not uh, infected right now I'm, I'm not infectious right now i won't be infectious on june 23rd anyway but i have a lot of fatigue and uh, I, I don't feel a hundred percent so like just yesterday after doing the recording i was so exhausted even though it's not much i'm just sitting on a chair and talking to my laptop it's not a lot of physical work it's not a lot of any kind of like you know anything that exhausts my body it's just me talking right but i was exhausted i was like after i finished i could sleep for a hundred years like that i was so tired so yeah i guess that's a part of covid like maybe the actual infection may not be too much for some people for me it was a lot but it may not be for a lot of people but everybody gets very tired so like the fatigue is very long lasting and that's what happened to me yesterday so yeah if this was actually happen happening in south korea that would be very exhausting because it's not just going and talking but a lot of travel is also involved there but yeah i was very excited like when they announced it that it's going to be in south korea i was really excited because that is one country that i've not been in uh, eastern asia like i've been to japan china hong kong but i've not been to south korea and uh, yeah so yeah let's see where they plan to do the next one or, or whether they'll still do this online i hope we are like you know we're not stuck in covid in 2024 and we can actually do it in some nice cool place but um yeah so yesterday's conference went well, i mean my recording went well my advisor checked my recording and she approved it and that's when i i uploaded it and yeah let's hope that the con the actual conference the discussion session on 23rd goes very well and yeah and i hope we get another I, I mean i love conferences and i love meeting people at conferences and this online conference session is uh, very different from what real conferences used to be i mean i've been doing conferences since I was much younger. I, I did conferences in my undergrad. I did conferences in my master's program. I did a lot of presentations in Germany, Japan, and all of that. And there was another international con uh, congress of phonetic sciences um, in 2019. So that conference also happens once in four years. So it's almost like Olympics of uh, phonetic science conferences and that would that last one in 2019 was in melbourne in australia and i went there and it was so good i loved it and not just because i got to travel to australia but also because i met a whole lot of people and like because phonetic conferences are um, not just for linguistics so a lot of engineers and um, like sound technology audio technology uh, physics those background people from those backgrounds also come so it's like amalgamation of different kinds of people so we get to see a lot of different kinds of talks and a, a whole different world and that conference center itself is so huge like it was huge massive it was almost like a stadium and there were like concurrent sessions going on all the time from like 9 a.m to 5 p.m every day and then dinners and meetups and student group meetings and a meeting with speakers it was just a, a whole week of like a, a very happy time for me it was um, it was really really good so that one is going to happen in 2023 so it happens once in four years the last one was in uh, 2019 so the next one is in 2023 and it's supposed to be in prague um next summer but i'm not sure uh if they'll actually do it uh in person because you know this uh, we are all going backward and forward with the covid situation and we don't know if it will actually happen in person or whether they'll make it online but yeah let's see but in any case i'll prepare my abstract and send it and see how it goes because i really like going to conferences and now that i'm doing my dissertation i get a lot of feedback and based on different people's feedback i can improve my work and make it even better and more appealing and now that i know a lot of tools uh, with how to make your work better so all these uh, feedbacks actually make a lot of sense to me because earlier i was so young i wouldn't always understand a different statistical approach a different methodological approach and all of that but, but now i do so now it's even more exciting and yeah so and i also get to meet a lot of linguist friends with whom i can talk about linguistics phonetics phonology because uh, like 
for me i like talking about my research and also listening about other people's research and understanding what people are doing so generally when i sit down to discuss things i like talking about phonetics and phonology and having a good discussion i mean i know people think it might be boring or like you know talking about work all the time but this is the best part about being a researcher is that work is not very stressful because you've really selected it selected this part because you love it so much and no matter how many hurdles come on the way you still continue to like it so it's kind of like that for me but anyway we will see how it goes and yeah apart from that anupam and i are recovering uh, anupam went to office today and his uh, isolation uh, period is over but at home we are still wearing masks because outside you're still outdoors and you know you can like with office people and everything you can uh, wear a mask and like you know keep a distance and everything but at home like you're using common spaces bedroom living room kitchen so that there's more chance of uh, transmission and because i already just had it i don't want to have it again and uh, like a lot of people say that uh, if you have it once you develop immunity but i my doctor said that there's no guarantee and you can get reinfected like it's not like chicken pox that you have it one and you once and you develop antibodies and you don't get it again like this one you may get it again there's no guarantee so i really don't want to get it again it's been such a bad experience for me and i also have my surgery coming up and if i keep getting infected again and again i'll have to keep pushing that back and i don't want to do it so i just want to get done with that before my summer holidays end so yeah i really need to protect myself and also anupam has to like keep himself well so yeah we maintain some uh, distance at home but that also is going to end very soon so today is his 11th day and like tomorrow is 12th day so it's almost over so yeah that was that and i won't make this video too long and i hope you have a good uh, rest of the week bye